Okay, here we have a nice nucleosclerosis and a cortical cataract here. It's actually denser than you think. Was as we take it out, you'll see uh, the, the kind of a three plus nature of this lens. But I like to flip this lens into the antechamber, kind of half of the lens, kind of tilted up above the iris plane, so I have good purchasing with my micro device. And because there's no phaco energy, no cavitation, I feel very comfortable. Uh, this is a minute lens in the anterior chamber. See that stream? That's what it looks like when we actually turn the irrigation on. That kind of stream going in either direction. That gives keeps the chamber nice and stable uh, throughout the entire case. So using a second instrument, I'm going to go underneath this lens with my Kuglin here to lift the lens up and then just purchase with my Micor and just start disassembling it. Again, this is, again, no cavitation, no phaco energy. The oscillation is slow enough to disassemble the lens, remove it with vacuum, but yet not create the phaco energy that we see with other types of machines. So I want to go ahead and just remove this and you can see I'm using my second instrument to chop and I'm really staying in the middle of the eye and we see good followability. So the chamber is remaining nice and formed, posterior capsules way back there, but I'm actually kind of feeding the lens to my micro device. So I'm really staying in the middle of the eye for the most part here and just kind of chopping it and letting the second instrument feed things to my uh, tip of my micro device and kind of helping it guide it into the tip as well and things come to me again chamber is really stable and I'm going to go with my INA tip here with a silicone tip here and just remove some of the epinuclear and cortical fibers and I, again I think I have really good control with this silicone tip here I'm just removing some of the viscoelastic and some of those small LECs and even some incisional here I think having this kind of vacuum type of nature allows us not to have to go too far underneath the capsule to get rid of these pieces. And even for the small LECs, I can polish it. I feel really comfortable with the silicone tip to actually engage the poster capsule, uh, respect it, but not fear it. That's kind of what my course helped me <laughs> feel more comfortable with addressing the poster capsule there. But I can go ahead now and just remove the viscoelastic after the IOL is already in the eyes. Going to go ahead and get that bubble out of the way here. And we're going to go underneath the lens and it's kind of same idea. You see a nice stable chamber. The capsule's way back there. It can remove viscoelastic from behind the lens. I think it's really important both for toric lenses and even for non-toric lenses to prevent IOP spikes there. And just removing the IOL or moving the viscoelastic, keeping the IOL in position as well. And that's pretty much the case is hydrating the wounds and the case is done. So I think the efficiency uh, and really safety of the Micor is, is pretty unique and pretty impressive. So hope that video helped. Thanks so much.